Okay, so this is a heat special. It's 108 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's probably the highest that it's been here since we've been here. We're just picking up the post, and this Lego is, is hot. It's... <laughs> Oof, that is. Toasty. So it's 107. And I, for one, am enjoying this. So, this is 112. And it's also only 5% humidity. So, it's still pretty hot. But it's probably better than if it was 90% humidity. I'm glad we didn't pick Florida. Yes, I, th I think I like the dry heat. I think it's a good thing. It means you can be outside in the shade and it's quite warm. It's still very nice. And actually, when you're out in the sun, it does feel quite hot. But then... Um, we have a nicely shaded balcony. Yes, which we should return to. And just to confirm, this is the temperature. Whereas in here, it is 78. So 112 is our highest temperature. It might be the highest temperature that I've experienced, I don't know. Uh, my parents took me to Egypt once and that was pretty hot, so it might not be. But tomorrow is looking to be even hotter. It's 20 past eight, it's still just over a hundred. The ground is warm. It is, it's slightly burning my feet. <laughs> it's 109 degrees Fahrenheit, which is something like 43 degrees centigrade. And uh, I'm going to go in the hot tub. Um, this probably is a bad idea, but I think that this is, this is a very good test to see whether I can stand the heat. really hot. Yeah? Yes. Do you reckon it's hotter than 109? No, but it, what it does is it doesn't cool you down. So this is just deeply unpleasant. <laughs> um, could you put the bubbles on to see if that helps? Is this something this, for a cooler temperature? Oh, hang on. No, they're starting in earnest now. Um, no, this, this is very hot and um, quite unpleasant. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's also, let's see if this helps. But it's also absolutely fine. And um, I, I quite like it. But... <laughs> It's 111 Fahrenheit. I've just taken my glasses out of the car and I can only hold them by the plastic because it is, that is so hot. So we've just come back from the desert where I think it got to, was it 115 or 116? We're, we're back here where it's meant to be something like 114, but on the patio, it's a bit cooler as you can see here. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, was it 112, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, in terms of heat, I suppose we're going to have to put up with this level of heat through uh, the summer months in the year. So what do you think? I don't think it feels that much hotter than it felt in the summer in Wisconsin. And we didn't have a pool in Wisconsin. So I think I mean, we're about to go in the pool after we make this video. So e even though I think I've finally reached the point where it's hot enough that I'm you know, sort of sweaty, I suppose fairly sweaty since we've just been running around in a desert in the heat, I think that's still okay. That would have happened to me in the rest of the country in the summer, except for we wouldn't have the amenities that everyone here has. So. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I think it's all right. And there's air conditioning in lots of places, and you can wear a hat, and you can go swimming, so... I think the fact that it's sunny and hot is still better than if it was, say, cloudy and 40 degrees Fahrenheit and rainy, like it does in England, or if it was minus 40 and cloudy and you couldn't go out of your house, it was so cold, like when I lived in Minnesota. So I think, I think this is still fine. I'm all right with this. Good. There you go. That was a heat special. <laughs>